Straight. Okay, you went from the Braves to Congress. How did that happen? Well, I, that's what I want to know. I was going to ask you that. <laughs> but so I never wanted to serve. I, I was always interested in politics. I always voted, did that. But I got into business when I got through with the playing baseball. And I always have people who wanted to run for office. I thought that was a noble thing. And, but I also found out a lot of people I was helping were telling me one thing, and then they were not doing it when they got up to D.C. They weren't doing what they told me they'd do. And that, so that upset me and made me mad. I, so, I, so I said, heck, I got to run for Congress because nobody's fighting for small business. That's when I called President Bush 43 and said, I'm going to run for Congress. And he said, well, do it. I think there's a 100% chance you'll win. And so on that advice, I decided I was going to run for Congress, ran against 13 people back in 2012 and won with a pro-business message. And I've been up here since then, and it's an honor to serve. And it's possible I'll have a chairmanship, be chairing the Small Business Committee this next go around when Republicans get the House back. So I got, I kind of got in by default, but in a way further back, uh, pre-Governor pre Bush, he asked me to be his finance chairman to run for governor. I agreed to do it. Helped him again in 98, did it with for president. So in a way, baseball got me into politics. That's great. And I and I I can tell the people out there, you had to be a good baseball player, but you're one heck of a politician. Because what you said right there, if you tell them a fact, this is what I'm going to do, I know that you will do it. And that doesn't happen very often. Well, thank you. But that's that's easier that way if you just tell the truth, isn't it? Just tell the truth. Straight.